I am going to show you how to import a module from one course into another course. I know a lot of us work in teams. Uh, for example, I teach ICT, I teach computer, and I teach with two other teachers. So there's three of us and we all work together and one of us will come up with a unit for one topic and another person will come up with a unit for another topic. And so we will all share the responsibilities for different units and we share and we'll, we'll, we'll send off our units to each other. So I'm gonna show you how to share your work with each other. Um, so this is my course and I'm gonna share my work with somebody else. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to share this March 23rd and 24th unit, this, uh, this module with another teacher. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. So I'm gonna pretend like I'm in this guy's class. Um, so you have to go to the class of the person who needs the work. So let's pretend like you are the person who needs the information, okay? So let's say you are the person who needs the information. You're the one who needs to get somebody else's work in your class. So you go to your course, Scroll down till you find where it says settings. Click settings. Once you get into settings, come over here and find where it says import course content. Import course content. Once you get into import course content, there's a drop down menu. Lots of options here, but the only thing you need to click is copy a Canvas course. Copy a Canvas course. At this point, you need to find your coworker's class. So you're going to have to remember what your coworker's class is named. Usually it's named the teacher's name. Um, so my coworker's looking for my course, so I'm going to type in my name. I've been teaching this for years, so there's several of me. Um, so I'm going to go find my course. Now, this is very important. You're going to go up here and find where it says select specific content because he's not going to want to go and import everything from my class. He just wants this one specific module. So click this button right here, select specific content. Now click import. So now it's waiting for me to go find what it is that I want to import over. Select content right over here, you find this button, select content. Now here's all the stuff from my class that he has that he can choose from that he wants to take, that he wants to use. Hit the little drop down arrow because there's something in my modules that he's looking for, just like there's gonna be something uh, that I'm gonna be looking for from his class later that I'm gonna to need to borrow. And he is gonna be needing this March 23rd and 24th module. That's what we were looking for earlier. So you're gonna put a little check mark right here because that's the module he's looking for and you go down and click select content. It says queued, no biggie. We're just gonna sit there and let it say that for a minute. And then once it says running, that means it's pulling it over. I like to sit here and let it do, that, do its thing. All right, completed. So now let's go over to modules. And see if we can find it. Usually when you import stuff, they throw it down at the bottom. And we'll scroll on down to the bottom. And there it is. That module is down there. I'm going to throw it on up to the top so the kids can find it. The way to move modules to the top of your page, there's these three dots right here. Click those three dots. And you click Move Module. 
And then there's different options. You can move it in different places, but I like to move my new modules to the top just because it's easier for the younger ones to find them. So click move. And then there it is. And so now the kids have that new module that we were looking for. Now that did not take it off my page. It did not make it go away from my page. It just added it to his page. And that's how you share content between you and other teachers. If you need to watch this video more than once, do it. I know it was a lot of steps and it seemed kind of complicated, but you'll get used to it. But feel free to watch it more than once just to get it down. Um, and good luck. You can do it. I know you can.